Hey, what's up team? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. This video is kind of a follow-up on the extroversion made easy video. I'm going to talk to you about the different types of introversion, how you can understand introversion, and some kind of techniques and tricks to uh, understand your own introverted functions and uh, hopefully use that to, to connect a little bit better to people who are introverts. Even if you are an extrovert, four of your eight functions, your cognitive functions, your mental processes, are introverted functions, right? So it's very important to understand how they are working and how you're processing this information. Because if you don't understand that, then you're missing out on what you could call as half of your functional capability. And it's not just you though, it's, it's helping you understand introverts better because statistically, and I, I don't know the exact numbers, but there's about half of the population that are introverts. So you can, uh, you know, you can approach them and understand where they're coming from a lot better. As an introvert, this is going to help you just understand yourself better. If you don't already understand the cognitive functions and how they're working and introversion and how it's working, then this should help quite a bit. So starting out, like let's let's talk about introversion in general. And that is introversion is a way of processing information, a way of focusing your mental energy. It's bringing all those functions, sensing, intuiting, thinking or feeling inward. And when you're bringing it inward to your own personal experiences, you're going to probably take time processing it. So we can understand that like, it's going to be slower. They're going to take that information in, process it, and then they'll act, then they'll talk. Uh, they're going to wait more uh, to respond to people interacting with them instead of being the ones that are engaging and starting interactions. And uh, there's this tendency to feel overstimulated. Uh, so they're always trying to turn the volume down a little bit. So if you were to take this into an RPG style, you know, I like to think of it as they're the ones that are going to be the defensive versions of the classes, warrior, hunter, uh, mage and healer instead of trying to go in get experience and then adjust to that they're going to see where things are going and try to kind of uh, make the one perfect interaction <laughs> starting out let's do sensing sensing I feel is like a warrior if you are to bring that into an introverted realm into a defensive style that is like a tank, like a guardian. Uh, it's a slower, more methodical style, kind of defending the truth, verifying the truth, and also about specializing in certain things because they're taking their experiences, sensing, and bringing it inward, right? Into a personalized, me-oriented world. This guardian style, is going to be like, I use a sword and I use a tower shield. That is what I do. I've had so much experience and practice with this that this is kind of my identity now. So intuition is a way of understanding the world, perceiving the world, just like sensing, except it's branching off of the senses. It's abstract, it's connecting patterns, and looking at different possibilities and probabilities, things like that. So I think of this as a hunter, but it's introverted, so it's more of a defensive style. So it's about using a bow and arrow or a sniper rifle or something like that. It's basically like a one shot, one kill type thing. And it is slow and refined. It's tracking the, uh, the enemy and it's like shifting vantage points and viewpoints and trying to get deep insight into like the, the, the meaning and the purpose of these different events happening. Thinking to me makes sense to be a mage because uh, it's using your head and that's what mages do, right? So um, taking that and putting it introverted, slowing it down, you're going to have a mage who is 
just summoning this giant fireball or ice or lightning or whatever or arcane energy uh, it's going to be slower it's going to be looking at the book and the tomes and learning about it and internally processing the information logically and if you're doing that you're going to um, scan information you're going to um, try to identify names and definitions and spells and monsters and things like that i like to call it spell steal okay so you're going to take these logical models or frameworks and bring them inward and try to put them into your own personalized understanding of how the world works like what makes technical sense and uh, it's about precision these introverted functions are about precision they're about focusing in that information uh, and and kind of making it really clear and then last feeling feeling is like a healer uh, so they're focusing on their their heart and people's health bars and things like that and the introverted defensive style of that is not going to be going out and engaging people and trying to make sure that they feel good but it's going to be like i like to think of putting a shield around them to maintain inner harmony and it starts with you a lot of times you got to make sure you are taken care of and then you can go out there and, and make sure other people are internally in harmony so you're not going to assert yourself uh, too much you're not going to try to get dominance over other people and things like that because that doesn't feel good why would I want that to happen to me so I'm not I'm not gonna do it to somebody else there's like this deep conviction and faith in what is good and what is bad what is right and wrong so let's talk a little bit about how you can use this stuff if you are um, an extrovert and you are relating to an introvert then what is best is that you give them a little bit of time like that is just the blanket statement like give them time to process this stuff don't call on them immediately for some sort of decision or engagement if they're an introverted sensor they're likely going to want to know um, how things have happened in the past 